Yes and no, I guess I'll, I'll say. You know, it's uh, the history of bobsled in the United States is, is long, um, and it kind of had moments of success, but those moments of success were in the, the 20s, the 40s, and, uh, and then a little bit of success in 2002, winning a couple medals on our home track in, in Salt Lake City. Um, but it wasn't quite the gold medal elite type of success. So, you know, I, I learned, you know, to, to follow, uh, you know, and respect the sport in a way, you know, and it was kind of fun learning the history of the sport that way. Um, but that was, again, same thing as Nebraska football as well. Growing up, you know, I had this, you know, I always wanted to wear the, you know, the end, I guess, and, and you know, always wanted to, to play for Nebraska. That was always the goal growing up. But, you know, bobsled was never like a lifetime, lifelong goal that I had. Um, but yeah, I, I guess when I joined the team and got to know the other guys, it was pretty fun. Um, you know, my, my early teammates were, uh, one actually, one athlete went to, uh, West Point, um, graduated from the army Academy. Um, you know, other teammates were from Texas and Salt Lake city and Boston and, uh, you know, Washington state and, you know, just all over the place. And, you know, they, they knew about Nebraska football. Again, this is early two thousands where, you know, we were competing for a little bit more than what they are now <laughs> say that, but, uh, it's kind of reality. Um, but, uh, yeah, so the other guys, and I think, uh, to some degree, you know, they respected my athletic background already, you know, when I, I came to the sport for that reason.